Hello, so today I am starting a new sketchbook. My husband actually got me this for Mother's Day this year, 2022, and I have been wanting this sketchbook for a while. I think it was either Casey Golden or Drawing with Waffles who had it and recommended it, and I've been wanting it since, and I finally have it. So I'm starting off, and instead of putting like my actual name, I'm easier to find online with like my art name. And then I was adding stickers that I bought from Tiffany Wang. Um, she is someone that I've followed like religiously on YouTube for like four years. I watch every one of her videos. And then this is from Acorn and Crow Studios. So I ordered these sets of stickers and then that's my sticker right there. So I wanted to decorate the front. The left side is going to be um, other artist stickers and then the right side with my name is gonna be all of my stickers. So that way there's like a clear separation and then, I don't know, it just seems more organized in my head because I don't want to mix my work with others and like possibly get confused on who has credit for it. I don't know. But so I'm writing like everyone's like ads. I found Acorn and Crow on TikTok and Tiffany on YouTube. And so yeah, that's the first page. I hope to get more stickers soon, but that's what I have so far. Oh my gosh, so this is ridiculous. I had so much hope for this piece. The car was so good, but the blue in the back, I could not get it. It was so splotchy and it was at like layer eight. So I cut it out and maybe I'll use the car later, but for right now it's cut out. So I started a completely new sketch of this moth and like this like kind of vine of leaves, I guess. Um, so now I'm outlining the leaves because it's easier to paint like around it with like at least a clear outline and then it took one layer but not just this one it took three actually i think it took four layers to get an even black coat because i wanted to make a print out of this and then so i started going over the vines with a green pasca because it's going to be way easier to paint over the green pasca than like splotches of uneven black so I started doing that and I was outlining all the leaves, getting everything set up to start doing some details. And then I felt like it made the page a little too uneven, so I added some stars with more concentration, like as if the stars and the leaves were making an X, so there's more concentration on the other slanted line, I guess. And then this is where things started getting difficult because I just could not get these leaves right. Usually I'm really great with leaves and nature and I can do it but I guess my game was just off I don't know but they kept looking so funky so I just paused for a minute and I started on the moth this moth went through so many different color phases I don't know why I could not decide on what colors I wanted so I was like okay I'll do this dark green outline and then like a lime green inner and then I was I changed my mind, so I outlined that in brown to try and see if I liked the brown, which at first I actually didn't. And so I painted over it with this teal color. It was like a really Tiffany blue, and then I mixed yellow into it to make it a little bit more green, but it's still pretty blue. Um, so yeah, I painted over everything that I just did because for some reason for this first page of my sketchbook that was just a trend and I had like eight layers of paint on the sketchbook page again. But I wasn't going to quit on this piece. I wanted this moth to work so bad. There was too many layers of black for me to not get this moth to just cooperate at least a little bit. I had to not give up on this piece. And then I... Th <sighs> Okay, so in the reference moth, they have this like fuzzy thing in the middle, like of color, and I thought that if I did that, that it would match, and I don't know why, it looks so odd. So I went over it with brown, and that still looked so odd, so I once again just was like, okay, let me move on to the next thing, and I started on the... I don't know what the scientific term for these lines are on moths and butterflies, but the little pattern on the wings and that they're just the pretty parts of the wings, what make it not just blocks of color, I guess. So to add more interest in the piece, I started adding these little white highlights on the moth and trying to make 
the body of it look more furry and then I was adding these little dark blue details on it to just give the moth a little bit more oomph and it not just being a plain straight down color um and then I went in with these purple little dots and I don't know if I liked them or not I think I could have gotten without them but too little too late <laughs> and then I outlined them off with this silver Posca I had, which also didn't need to be done, but I do really like the silver, especially in person because it reflects so nicely and it looks so good on like the um, die cut sticker that I'm doing. So I'm really happy with the silver and I love the piece. So thank you for watching. I had fun making this and I hope to show more of my sketchbook process soon. I will have all of my links linked down in the description bar so you can check out my socials.